today we are making cheesy training treats. What you hear is one of my tasters having a little slurp of water. I have both of my tasters roaming the kitchen today. Hopefully it won't be too much of a distraction. But they're very excited about these training treats. They love cheese. Uh, cheese in and of itself isn't particularly great for your dog. Uh, very fattening and really only gives them the benefit of some calcium. However, when you're training, it's good to have a high value reward for your dog. Cheese is one of those things. So I've come up with a training treat that has the flavor of cheese without so much fat. And I'll be using whole wheat and oat flour and sweet potato flour and of course cheese and a little bit of flax meal and egg to hold it all together. So let's get started. Number, oh, chicken stock too. Number one we're gonna do is one cup of whole wheat flour, pre-measured. Then we have one cup of oat flour. Lots of antioxidants in that. And the wheat flour has a lot of fiber, which is good for your dog. Sweet potato flour, vitamin A, and dogs love the taste of it. Flax meal, good for skin and coat. Also tastes good and binds your dough together. I'm going to give that a little more. And then we're going to add chicken stock and I made this. Homemade is better because you can choose what you make it with. This has no salt in it. Salt is not good for dogs. I did not use any onion or uh, garlic in this. So I'm going to add that. One cup of chicken stock. And we're going to put in an egg. I took the liberty of mixing it up beforehand. And then the cheesy cheese. I used what I had in the fridge. Mexican. It's a blend and it is very high fat. You could use a lower fat cheese, but my two fur kids do not like lower fat cheese. If you give them a little piece of string cheese, they're like, show me the money. They do not like low fat cheese. So we're cheating a little bit. So let's give it all a good spin. Nicely, it smells fabulous, smells like cheese, of course. I see Jake, in particular, is pacing the room. He's already tried these treats and loves them. This dough is looking a little bit dry. We'll see in a second. I'm gonna try and pull it together, see what it looks like. Anytime you have a recipe like this, if it looks a little dry, you just add a little more liquid. And here, I didn't even get all that egg in there. Let's see if I got all the chicken stock in there. Yes. You can always add more liquid, or uh, if it's too wet, you can add more flour. So I think I was judging too harshly. This looks like it's going to work just fine. I do want to dust my board first. Training treats are easy because I'm going to be using pizza cutter. <laughs> what do you think, Jake? Is that hurry up and finish, Mom? All right, let's dump this here. Get that out of the way. As you can see, this is something that you could do uh, easily in a break. And I'm going to sprinkle a little flour on top here too, just so it doesn't stick to the rolling pin. Here we go. 
try and keep it on the board. So try and go north, east, south, and west. And fairly thin and definitely uniform in size so you get a nice even cook. And that's looking pretty good. Let's make sure it's not gonna stick to the bottom here. Nope, looks good. And you can choose the size treat you want. I'm going to go for a medium size. So let me move this so you can see what I'm doing. And it's fun. And you'll be cooking these at 350 degrees. A um, little longer cook time than most. Uh, the cheese, I think, uh, makes it take a little bit longer. So it'll be 15 minutes on one side and then flip them, and 15 minutes on the other. There is kind of a technique for flipping these little treats. I use a spatula to kind of get in under there and flip. slow down a little so that I don't wreak havoc on the dough. Good therapeutic. <laughs> All right, so that's good. What we're gonna do now is put these little training treats on the tray. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. Looks like it will. Take a little wedge right there on the tray. I try and do it quickly because the dough st does start uh, attaching to the cutting board the longer it sits, as you can see. That's what just happened there. So let's come up here, see if we can get that on there quickly. Perfect little batch here, yay! And do this. If you were taking your time and being more careful, you could probably get them all on this tray. Uh, but let's just do a couple more. We don't want to waste any. There we go. And I will be putting these in the oven. And we'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, you guys, make some room. I know you wanna have these. Here we have cheesy training treats. Hot out of the oven, this is Jake. Uh, he's in training for obedience. Clearly, he should not have his feet on the counter, but he's so cute. And he's also in training for agility, dog agility. And he loves these, as you can see. So, we are about to demonstrate a couple of tricks, since they're training treats, and they do love these, I know. So we're gonna put you guys over here. This is the performance arena. Good boy, Jake. All right, we are going to do, wait. Oh, you already did it, a spin. <laughs> Tori, you have ESP. <laughs> How did she know I was gonna do that? Twirl, Jakey twirl. <laughs> okay, one more, sit. That's a very useful one. Good girl, Tori. Yay! Chicken stock and cheese are in these treats, so I would put them in the refrigerator for storage or freeze, which you're not going to use right away. Um, thank you for watching. The dogs love these. They're easy, done in a second. Uh, see you next week, and don't forget to subscribe.